Can you tell us about CompStat and what it meant for the city? So CompStat was invented uh, in the NYPD um, by Bill Bratton and uh, Jack Maple. And the idea was to use statistics and the number of crimes committed as the bottom line for policing. Mm -hmm. So in business, the bottom line is uh, profit. profit and loss. In, in policing, it's how many crimes have been prevented. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can figure that out is by looking at the crimes sure. and determining strategies to prevent them. Absolutely. A brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. Saved thousands of lives in New York over the last 20 years It's in, and across the country. Really. And Comstead also helped them focus resources, right? You know that this street corner is regularly a bad place and this place is not, so you can direct more cops to that to, to that street corner. Right, the, uh, right, uh, exactly. Uh, Policing was sort of a, a shotgun approach as far as assignments. You know, you mm -hmm. would put, you would spread the offices out mm -hmm. uh, among the, the community um, as widely as you can so you, you've got equal enforcement. But really, the offices would gravitate to those high crime areas where there were, were more calls. And, um, and what, what CompStat did was allowed us to identify exactly where the crime was occurring and use, they call it cops on dots, really putting officers in those locations. Right. And, and that's the first step. The problem in New York seemed to be that, that, that there was no recognition that um, increasing stop and frisk or increasing field interrogation cards, contact with potential criminals, um, was ever a bad thing. Right. And so uh, after talking to the community, I realized that people were feeling put out by being stopped sure. and, and talked to and over and over and over again. And, uh, and when we looked at the statistics, we found that it was the same individuals being stopped over and over and over again. Some were criminals, mm -hmm. but a large number of them weren't necessarily hardcore criminals. They were street, you know, they were kids that were on the street, grew up mm -hmm. like I did when, in mm -hmm. Lowell, you know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and, but, you know, this, this highlights an, an, an issue that, you know, uh, some things are easier to measure than other things. Right. And the easy way to manage is to focus on the things that are easy to measure. Uh, and that can often lead you, this can go awry in the corporate context, and uh, it can go awry in the policing context as well, that it's easy to measure how many people you stop, not, it's harder to measure what you've done in terms of building community trust, or what you've done in terms of creating long-term safety. So I'm going to ask one question which you may not be comfortable saying, but it's not Boston, it's Chicago. It is clear that something is not going on well in Chicago. But Chicago had, like New York and Boston, significant decreases in, in crime. Currently, there is both, you know, uh, crime, re crime levels appear to be up, although, you know, a lot of that is, there's always randomness on, on the statistics, but uh, it appears both that there, that there is a significant safety issue uh, and the public animosity, at least from some parts of the public, towards the Chicago Police Department is, appears to be quite large. Do you have any sense about what Chicago could be doing better? I mean, if you were, and probably you have given advice to Rahm Emanuel on this, but if, if you were, if you were telling them how do, how do you how do you fix a dysfunctional situation like that, or how do you how do you at least move in the right direction? Well, th there's there's changes that need to, need to be made on three different levels. I worked there for two years, mm -hmm. uh, providing advice through the Justice Department to mm -hmm. the to the city, and um, the way I look at it, um, the the city needs to institute a community policing program and use CompStat as the main focus for their strategies. Um, and they've moved away from CompStat, which I think is a, is, is a further disaster. Um, but they also have to build trust with the community. And it has to be block by block and officer by officer. And, and so that's the, the foundation of it. But there's also serious dysfunction at the state level, uh, mm -hmm. at, at the Cook County uh, Prosecutor's Office. Uh, in their coordination with the federal authorities. And quite frankly, I was extremely disappointed in the federal authorities um, who would not look at violent crime in the neighborhoods as a problem. Uh, they were focused on white collar crime and corruption. Mm -hmm. and, and, and even after intervening and going through the Justice Department, there was zero response from that, from that agency. In Boston, the feds were an, an enormous help in our being able to control violent crime and putting people away. And quite frankly, at the state level, bad guys don't get put in jail in Cook County. They mm -hmm. just don't. They, they, they have multiple shootings, multiple firearms arrests, and they're still on the street. And, and the criminal justice system is a joke. So until that gets coordinated at the state and at the federal level, it's, it's going to be a serious problem. And this at the federal level, why is it different in, in Boston and in Chicago? What is this just a different person who's in the attorney. DA's office? Yep. Is the U.S. US attorney? attorney. 
U.S. Attorney, right? Fascinating. That reminds us to you know reminds us of how important personalities are and how lucky Boston and Lowell have have, have been no to, have, to have you at. Thank you. Well, thank oh. you very much, and many other people. And many other people. It was, it was absolutely. A great team.